welcome back everyone as far as we have seen first in our video uh, we created uh, some triangles by using only string functions and then we created uh, again the same patterns but by using some array functions but in this video what we are gonna do is we will use some property nodes in LabVIEW to make it more simple and this will be the most refined form that I think so and this will gonna be very very easy to create patterns in LabVIEW so first we will do the same things we will use concatenate string functions print a star in here and connect that with our loop create shift register and create a constant again we will again choose a concatenate function function and connect that with the center again connect that with the loop replace that with the shift register connect that in here create a constant and here in the final stage we have end of line constant so that this will give us as we already know create a control in here and create an indicator in here so that we can control number of rows So let's just say 10 rows and run the program so we have a star function basically star pattern in the form of right triangle let's just increase its size to 24 so that that will be more visible clearly and then again we need to print it out or convert that into uh, inverted form so for that purpose again I'm gonna use a for loop like I have used in the previous ones and I'm gonna use a subtract function oops place that inside the loop connect that in here so that that will give me a loop iterations of 10 9 8 7 that will give me a countdown basically so use the same string function as in here create a constant of star connect the output with shift register connect the output in here create a constant and and finally what do we have in here is again we will use the same concatenate function create a shift register connect the output with this one create a constant and finally what do we have is our end of line constant connect the output in here and this will give me create an indicator so this is giving me right now the inverted triangle so as you can see we can make that both same size so this is our right triangle and this is our inverted triangle so what we are going to do is we will play with these two triangles to create our pyramid as well as crystal so first just concatenate these two out so that this will give me uh -huh. create an indicator in here and make that again to 
size to 24 the last thing is we are gonna give use is our ring or anim function menu ring or oh, let's just say anim constant go to its properties and edit some items our first one is left insert center or say pyramid pyramid insert left sorry not left it should be right so here we have it now what we are gonna do is we have this anim function in here we will use the property nodes create property node where is it gone text sorry uh, text we will go to justification change that to write If we just connect that we cannot just connect that directly we need to use a case structure put that outside connect the enum with the case structure so that they will give me the right pyramid left pyramid and create a case after add case after which is our left create a constant so this is our left sided create a constant again so this is will be our right and create a constant which is center so just place a loop around it all of it create a control and now here we will create some time function just say 1000 so every second it will iterate so this is a string and it is right now says that that will stick if i just place it near of it or just drag it this string in here so that we can just closely observe this string how it works so right and pyramid this will create a pyramid and if i just press left this will give me this like in a similar way we can do this with our concatenated string and we can just delete this out right now remove the broken wire and for the concatenated string we can choose the same method as our nm2 same uh, case structure but for this we must need to go to property node again and use text and use justification and change that to write connect that with our this function and Similarly, now, oops, where is our anim? Here is our anim. Let's place that in here so that that will show us how it is working. So, that's the pyramid which is in this case is our crystal. So, we can edit that item, but if we edit, we need to edit the case structure as well. So, 
properties in the form of pyramid you can write crystal but make sure you that will be automatically the case structure is automatically changed so now this is a crystal now this is the left side now this is the right the same similar thing you can do with the inverted tri right triangle by doing yourself so i hope you will like my work and video please like share and subscribe thank you so much mm -hmm.